Now, if you're attending a mentoring session, it's really important that you know how to share your own screen. In order to do that, you're gonna go down to the bottom where it says screen share. It should be a bright green button on the Zoom menu bar. Now, the host should already have enabled the screen share, but if they haven't, just remind them. Once you click that, there should be a pop-up that allows you to see multiple windows on your device. Now, if you're gonna be switching back and forth between a lot of windows, we recommend that you choose the first option or the desktop option. If you'd like to only share one website or window, just simply click the other options that are shown. Now, if you're sharing a video or anything that has to do with sound, make sure you go to the bottom of that pop-up and click share sound or optimize for video clip. Once you're done sharing their, your screen, make sure you go to the top and simply click stop sharing. If you're a Mac user and haven't enabled screen sharing on your Mac for Zoom already, it's going to be a little bit different to screen share for you, but don't worry, we're going to talk about how to do it right now. Okay, so click the screen sharing button on your Mac. Now, if it asks if it can take you to screen preferences, click yes. You're going to go over there to preferences. Once you're in system preferences, you're going to go to security and privacy. Then, on the left-hand corner, you're going to scroll down to where it says screen recording. In the right portion of the pop-up, you should see an option for Zoom. You're going to click that option and enable screen recording for Zoom. So, it's a little bit confusing. It does say screen recording, but in order to screen share on Zoom, we have to enable that on the Mac. Kind of weird wording, but there you go, friends. That's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching that Zoom video. Now, go out there and get some DNA done.